Now finally, Apple showcased iOS 18 on 10th of June and developer beta is available. So I have already installed iOS 18 developer beta on my 12 mini as you can see. Now, uh, if you want to know the customization options available in iOS 18, then this video is for you. Before getting into the video, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now starting with the basic customization on iOS 18 is that basically you can rearrange all the application wherever you want. So you just have to tap and hold uh, an application like this and you can place it wherever you want. And earlier this thing was not possible. Now you can see I can place application anywhere. If I go to next page, uh, you know, if I place the application down over here, I can do that. So yeah, rearrangement of application is now possible in iOS 18. Now the next customization option available uh, for your home screen is related to the application itself. Now if you tap and hold on the blank space, basically it will go to wiggle mode and the widgets which are uh, you know at the top over here, I can change the size of that. So basically you can resize the widget. Uh, so you get an icon over here, you can see. You just have to tap there and if you stretch like this, you can simply change the size. Now earlier it was not possible. We have to go in widget option and we have to, uh, you know, select a specific size, but now we can change the size from home screen itself. And if you want to, you know, bring back to normal, you can do that as well. And all the application will rearrange themselves automatically. Now this resizing option can also be done by just tapping on the icon or the widget option over here. If you tap and hold on widget, you see, uh, you, we get three options. Now this is the medium size I can choose directly. And again, if I tap and hold, I can make it to large size. So you can directly uh, do this resizing option uh, by tapping on the widget itself. Next thing is if you want to change the look of your icon, then if you open control center and if you switch to dark mode, now you can see automatically the application will, you know, go to dark mode and it's kind of cool, you know, and there is one more customization option, which you can do just tap and hold on the blank space over here, go on edit option at the top. And over here, if you select customize, you get some options over here. If I go to dark, it will go to dark mode. If I, uh, you know, select light, it will go to light mode. And if you select this tinted option, which is new, now you can see it will adapt the color, which is related to your wallpaper. But if you want to change it, you have this toggle over here. If you move it, you can change the color. You can also change the saturation level, whatever you want. So yeah, this is the new customization option available on iOS 18. And yeah, it's kind of cool. Now, not only this, you can also change the size of the icon again, tap and hold on the blank space, go on edit option and then select customize over here and let's bring back icons to normal. And now you can see we have small and large option available. Now, if I switch to large over here, you can see icon size will be increased and the name of each particular application is gone. If you want the application to be visible with the name, you can select small size and now icon size will be small and you can check out the application name at the bottom. So yeah. The people who want large size can select large. The people who want small size can now select small as well. Now the next customization option is related to control center. Now basically you can see the control center interface has changed a lot. If you basically uh, swipe down like this, we can access control center. And if we scroll above like this, we can access multiple pages which are available on the control center. Now again, if you tap and hold over here on the blank space, we will go in edit mode and now you can rearrange the control center icons wherever you want. Earlier, this thing was possible in settings, but now you can directly rearrange your icons on control center itself. And not just this, you can also resize the icon. So let's say if I want to, uh, you know, increase the size of this recording button, I can do that over here. Again, if I want to increase the size of dark mode, I can do that. So the resizing option will be available for some of the things because you can see for volume and brightness, it is not available. So yeah, basically you can rearrange and also resize the control center modules over here directly in the control center panel. Now the next customization in control center is if you tap and hold on the blank space, basically you will get an option of add a control over here. So you can add multiple control models directly from the control center panel. Now for this earlier, uh, we have to go in settings option and then we have to add the control modules, but now we can directly add it. So select add a control over here and then you can see there are multiple options available this time in the control center. So you can choose any controls you want and it will be added to the control center directly. Now there is another small addition in control center. If you open control center now on the right hand side top corner, you can see you get an icon of power off. If you tap on that directly, it will take you to the, you know, power off page. So you can slide this and you can power off your iPhone. 
And the next addition is if you open control center on the left hand side top corner, you will be able to check out the plus icon. Uh, if you tap on that, uh, you can add controls from there as well. So yeah, it's a small update, but it's good. Now the next customization is related to lock screen. So if I open lock screen panel over here, and if I tap and hold on the wallpaper, and if I select plus option, then in featured, you can check out the new iOS 18 wallpaper. You can select that and you can also change different styles of it. So you can choose whichever option you want. I'm going to keep this one only. Not just this. Now earlier, you know that torch and camera module was there, which was, you know, uh, we cannot change that particular control module, but this time we can change it. So basically you just have to tap on minus and then plus icon. And again, you will get a control center like interface over here and you can add new controls instead of torch over there. So let's say if I want to add switch control, I can add switch control over there. And instead of, uh, you know, camera over here, if I want to add a calculator, I can do that. Also, you can enable depth mode from here. If you want to keep it on, select on. If you want to keep it off, you can keep it off. Let me keep it on for now and simply select add option and then set as wallpaper. So we have successfully, uh, you know, selected new wallpaper. And now uh, you can also use this control center module directly from here. So if I tap and hold on calculator, it will open calculator over here. So yeah, these are some customizations option available in uh, new iOS 18 update. Uh, now this is still a developer beta and public beta will be, uh, you know, coming somewhere around next month. So yeah, that's it for today's video guys. I hope uh, this video was helpful. If it was, then do let me know in the comment section and do like this video as well as don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.